E-mini S&Ps end the week making yet another new all-time high. E-mini is getting all the way up to 49.34 before backing off and actually closing the day slightly lower down around 49.20. So it has been a big week for E-mini S&Ps making several new all-time highs again culminating in today's move. Equities have been higher going back to December FOMC. They've up about 5% and haven't seen much of a pullback. Yes, we have seen some choppy trading days, but ultimately the trend has been your friend. We've seen E-minis moving higher pretty much constantly throughout 2024, albeit all short year that it's been so far. But closing again at 49.20, slightly lower on the day, but continuing that trend higher. Now, taking a look at volatility, volatility continues to trade in a very low, narrow range. Taking a look at the range back to November of last year, it's been a tight range, one we haven't seen in about four years. You have to go back to 2019 before we've seen a range this low for this long, ultimately mirroring the rally we've seen in E-minis going back to November when we started this rally. It has been a constant rally at that and volatility reflecting that as it has remained on the low end near the all-time lows. Lastly, let's talk about what we have next week. Next week, we have a few data points. I'll, ultimately, it'll be about the jobs report, uh, ADP on Wednesday and the non-farm payroll number on Friday, as well as FOMC on Wednesday. Now, the stock market has been very keen into watching and listening to what the market's been saying, what the Fed has been saying. Uh, obviously, the, the data has been important, but they really want clarity from the Fed. Are they really going to start cutting rates in March? Right now, the market predicting about 50-50 odds that that happens. Perhaps we'll get a word from Mr. Powell at the press conference after JNFOMC, giving the market an indication of which way the Fed is leading. We'll also continue to get earnings. We have some big names coming out next week that will help push the market as well. So big name earnings, jobs, and the Fed all next week. So we mini S&Ps end the week uh, making yet another new high before seeing a modest pullback ahead of the weekend, ahead of next week's jobs report, January FOMC, and a whole lot of earnings.